guys, today's video we're gonna be updating your Mac. So let's just go right into your Apple logo on the top left hand side of your Mac. So that's right here, top left. We're gonna see this second option where it says system preferences. However, if you guys are, for example, in Sierra or any other OS, then the update would be from the App Store, okay? So for those of you who are up to date, however, there is this little update coming up. Just going right into system preferences. And then you guys will see this system preferences. Okay. So right here, we should see software update. So that's right here. Okay. Then click on it. If you don't see an update or a little red dot on it, don't worry about it. This will load up. It just takes a little bit and it all depends on your Wi-Fi speed. So after just a little bit, we should see this popping up. So this is the latest update from Apple. We can click on more to view more information about it. However, I have that loaded up for you guys right here if you guys want to read about it. However, it's not that big. You're looking at less than three gigs, so it will not take too long. All right, so downloading time, yes, it's not gonna take that long because it's only two gigs, so you're only looking at five, 10 minutes for most of you. Yes, if you guys have slower internet, this could take up up to 30 minutes or even a little bit more than that with really, really slow internet. The installation time will not take long at all. It's just gonna restart and then you guys can keep going. Before doing this update, I do always suggest making a time machine backup. So that's right up here, I have my time machine. I already made a backup right now. I can just click on backup now and then I'm done. I do have a separate video showing you guys how to mess around with that and time machine is something that's pre-installed on your Mac always always suggest doing a backup before doing any update of your Mac just in case anyways let's just click on install now and then it's gonna start downloading so I'm gonna click on downloading restart and there we go so again this tells us about five minutes it really depends on your internet speed it's just gonna restart so we're gonna see Apple logo loading bar it's gonna start up again and we're done there's not much into this update. However, it is essential for most of you. Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.